You know, cadaver dissection is the traditional way of learning human anatomy. For students, it's a quite an experience, but for school, it could be very difficult or expensive to maintain. So we learned the majority of anatomy class taught they do not have cadaver dissection lab. Maybe those reasons, or depending on where you are, cadaver may not be easily available. So to address this, uh, we developed with Dr. Brown in Stanford virtual dissection table. So we call this anatomy table. So with this anatomy table, students can experience the dissection without human cadaver. And the table form is important. And since it's touch interactive, just like the way. They do dissection in the lab, or furthermore, just the way a surgeon operates patient, you can naturally interact with your table. Our digital body is one-to-one -one life size, so this is exactly the way students would see the real anatomy. I'm going to um, do some demonstration. As you can see. I use my finger to interact with my digital body. I'm going to do some cut. I can cut any way I want to. So I cut right here. Then it's going to show inside. <laughs> And I can change my cut to see different part. Maybe I can cut there, see the brain. And I can change my cut. You can see some internal organs. So we call this uh, mid slicer mode. Okay, I'm going to do another cut. Right there. It shows a lot of internal structures. So if I want to see the back side, I can flip and see from behind, like this. So if these images are uncomfortable to you or disturbing to you, that means we did the right job. <laughs> so our doctor said. These are eye candies. So instead of just butchering the body, I'd like to do more clinically meaningful dissection. What I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off all the skins, muscles, and bones just to see a few internal organs. Right here. Let's say um, I'm going to cut liver right here. Okay, so let's say I'm interested in looking at heart. I'm going to do uh, some surgery here, just like I'm going to cut um, some veins, arteries. Oops. You don't want to hear oops in real surgery. <laughs> But fortunately, our digital man has undo. <laughs> okay. All right, let me zoom in. I'm going to make a cut right there. And then you, know, you can see the inside of the heart. You can see atrium and ventricles, how blood flows to artery and veins. Just like this, students can isolate anybody and dissect any way you want to. It doesn't have to be always dissection, since it's digital. We can do reverse dissection. 
So let me show you. I'm going to start with a skeletal structure, and I can add a few internal organs. Yep. Maybe I can add quickly this way. And I can build muscles gradually, just like that. We can see tendons and muscles. Wish I could build my muscle this fast. <laughs> and this is another way to um, learn anatomy. Another thing I can show you is, more often than not, doctors get to meet patient in X-ray form. So, anatomy table shows exactly how anatomy will appear in X-ray, and you can also interact with your X-ray. And also, if you want, you can compare with how anatomy would appear in X-ray too. So, when you are done, just bring back the body. And then it's ready for another session. Looks like our table also can transform gender too. It's a female now. <laughs> so this is anatomy table. Thank you. An airline has planes and people, and the planes can seem pretty much the same. So it comes down to the people. And whether they're working to make flying better or just working. Because bad weather, congestion, the price of oil, those are every airline's reality. And the solutions aren't going to come from 500 tons of metal and a pay job. They're going to come from people people who know how to put themselves on the other side of the counter. People who love this industry because of its challenges, not despite them. Delta people, who made us one of the biggest airlines in the world and then decided that that wasn't enough.